Good morning. Welcome to chapel. You know it's my favorite day of the week. I love chapel day. Have you ever had one of those songs get stuck in your head? Like, and it just can't go away, like Baby Shark, do, 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 do. okay, songs like that. Or sometimes it's a praise and worship song, like My Lighthouse, or, or um, y you name it. You think about it. Yeah, there's just those songs that get up there, and you, every time you're walking around, you're thinking about it for the day. So I was thinking about the word meditating, and God talks to us about meditating on his word, and that means putting it deep in our hearts and thinking about it and listening to what God's telling us. Um, chapel's a wonderful time for that because not only do we get to sing and get those songs stuck in our head and our heart, but also his word comes in and then that's down deep in our heart. Um, the verse I'm going to share with you is from Philippians 4 verse 8 and it says this, Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable. If anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about those things. God gives us time to think about his word every week in chapel, which is awesome. Today we're blessed to have Pastor Kevin here with us as he shares God's word with us. Uh, we thank him for that. And um, now let's stand and sing our song for this week. Before I spoke a word, you were singing over me. You have been so, so good to me. Before I took a breath, you breathed your life in me. You've been so, so kind to me. Still your love fought for me You have been so, so good to me When I felt no words, you paid it all for me You have been so, so
Well, good morning. Welcome to our Redeemer Chapel today. I'm Pastor Kevin, and I've got a few guests with me today. These are my cows out at my farm. Usually on Mondays, I come down to take care of the cows, and um, that's my job as uh, their rancher, is the one who owns them. I always think about how I need to make sure they have water, how they have food, that they're protected, that they're still in the in the pen or in the pasture where I have them. And so it just reminds me today as we begin our chapel that you and I have a great rancher or somebody taking care of us. King David talks about that when he says, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want, he makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in the paths of righteousness for his namesake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you, O Lord, are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. That's Psalm 23, one of the most beautiful psalms, and it reminds us of God's care for us. Just as I take care of my cows, the Lord takes care of you and provides for your every need. Um, I hope and pray that you just have a beautiful, blessed day today, remembering that you are part of the Lord's flock. You are somebody who he is caring for, and he will always be providing for you and caring for you. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you so much for the way you care for us. And just as I care for my cows, you as a great heavenly shepherd care for us. Jesus Christ, you said you are the good shepherd. You know your sheep. You know them by name, and nobody can snatch them out of your hand. Lord, today, thank you for making us to be part of your forever family and be with us always. In Jesus' name, amen. And so, um, I, we end today. Let us give thanks to the Lord this day. Go in peace, serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen, and have a great day.